<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. I'm here today with Bronte. Um, Bronte's our model for today, and um, we're going to colour her hair first and then give her a nice long laid haircut. So, off camera, we had a bit of a chat about what we're going to do. We also um, had a couple of visual references we looked at on my computer. And um, basically, Bronte wants to be brunette still. However, she wants to have more blonde in her hair. So, I guess it's um, we're going for a, a traditional sort of balayage look. Um, but we want to make sure that we don't go too blonde because we still want to be a brunette. Yeah. Um, we also need to layer her hair because um, essentially, other than a little bit of shape in the front, it's all one length. Obviously, we need to cut some of those ends off. But if we go and put hair uh, color underneath and the hair's on one length, you're not going to see it. So by layering the hair and um, exposing that color, um, it's obviously going to give it a much more sort of flow um, to the hair when you wear it. But it's also going to expose the color that we're going to do underneath there. Um, so it should be fun. You excited? Yeah. I'm excited too. You guys have asked um, if um, I can do a more traditional sort of signature long laid haircut, which is not seamless. A lot of the long haircuts we do are just all very sort of, um, what would you call, invisible layers or seamless layers where you actually, if you wore it all one length, you couldn't tell. This, we're going to actually do a more traditional style layering where we actually stack the hair so you can see the color underneath um, and also shape around the front. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Yep. I'm going to get um, Bronte wrapped up and um, then we're going to get started. Yep. So I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Pack your bags, we're leaving today. What is taking you so long? Don't look back, we're on our way. To find a place for us both to belong To stay on track, just needed faith For us both to be strong And all the stress will be erased At the end of the day Take my hand, we'll be okay Okay, that's the last one. I'm just going to spin Bronte around because what I need to do is very gently place these back now here so she can see. That's pretty important. up babes thank you I'll just pull all these back off your face for you so you can breathe a little bit it's got to be gentle that we don't make them slide otherwise we can have some really nasty um, demarcation lines which is not cool I'm just move this camera back a little bit I'll spin you around I'll pull these ones away so we're going to visually process this now. Um, the back one's probably going to need to come out soonish, um, but I'll have a check of those. The next time you see Bronte and I um, will be when we're doing a toner, and I'll uh, take you guys through exactly what we're going to do. Just to recap, we use Lightmaster with Bonder inside and 30. 
um, I did uh, baby lights around the hairline, just two sections, and then the rest I've gone through about a quarter of an inch apart, an eighth of an inch width sections, backcombed, applied it, always making sure that the, hot, the, the outside's wider, the inside's narrow to keep that V. I processed that all now. I've rinsed it out, it's at the base in there. Just prepped it using some Instacure, and now we're gonna do toner. So let's talk toner, let's talk color sync. So one of the things I've been doing a lot is I've been trying to keep synergy between stretching root and toning ends. The way I do that is um, I, I basically mix up color for my root stretch and dilute that using clear for my ends. So that way I'm gonna get synergy. So for example, the root color I'm gonna do um, 3N, which is dark, in the color sink. Um, and I'm going to use, uh, hmm, let me think, 8P. So that'll give me like, that should give me like a level four, five, so depending on the mix. Then instead of going and mixing up more color, I then use, let's say for example, I mix up uh, how am I going to work it out here? So let's say I do, and I'm speaking grams, so let's say I do, I need 60. So let's say I do 30, 40, 40 grams of 8P and 20 grams of 3N, and I use 30 of it to do the roots. Then if I'm, and to say it's around level five, then if I mix the other 30 grams with 30 grams of clear, I essentially then, uh, dilute my base level to a 10 which then works well for the end so that's what I'm going to do we're back we've lightened it we've toned it um, as always um, the uh, formula for the toner will be in the description um, I'm actually cutting Bronte's hair um, wet today however even when I do cut hair wet um, as, as you guys know I do a lot of my hair cutting dry um, I still need to take a little bit of moisture out because it's literally like it's sopping wet so I do like to take a little bit of moisture out, so I'm going to quickly do that and then we'll start the haircut. Okay, haircut time. So let's start with our length because it makes sense often to start there. Um, chin down for me just a little bit not too far yep perfect thank you can really start to see that color coming out now it's fantastic always making sure You don't have any pieces caught behind the ears, nothing tangled up anywhere through whether it be the midsection, like the mid lengths or the ends. Get that really nice, accurate section for the last one and make sure that we don't have any um, knots because when we go and blow dry it, we'll have long bits hanging out. And we've got to have a bit of an uncomfortable conversation. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that bit. I'll just grab it for you. Normally I would be doing my shape this way, but this time we're actually, so that's uh, vertical, we're actually gonna work horizontally this time. You've probably seen me do it before, but for those of you out there that have asked for me to create this haircut, I hope you enjoy it because um, we're lucky that Bronte actually asked for this particular haircut today, which is really good. So hopefully it turns out nice. Okay, so what I like to do is Bring all the hair forward over the face. I'm a firm believer to try and work with hairlines 
If you can't, if the client wants to actually um, move the part around, then it's really important that you um, work with the centre part. So I just like to grab it like this, give it a scrunch, and you can see where it's separated there for Bronte. So we're going to work with that. That's because that's where her cowlick is. You can see that in there too. Okay, so let's go for maybe, I don't know, an inch and a half, four centimetres. Head up for me, Bronte. Perfect. We'll get this side out of the way first. So the most important part of this is over directing to retain length. Otherwise, it's going to end up really, really short and that can be embarrassing, right? So I'm going to spin Bronte around, Bronte around a little bit so you can see. And I'll just move our camera position to here. Okay, so you can see here that what we want to do is have her head at natural fall. We want to stay right on 90 and I'm going to over direct the hair like this to retain the length and I'm going to cut inwards. So here goes nothing. Chin up again for me, perfect. Let me just grab a water spray real quick. It's really important that you do this wet just so you can have an even amount of um, tension on the hair because where the hair's wet in some parts, and then if it's dry in others, you actually do have the hair changing length. It'll be, be shorter and longer. So it's close your eyes, babe. Just want to make sure that it's, as uh, my mate Stevie would always say to me, the wetter the better. I'm like, yeah, right, mate. Okay, head up again, babe. So we want to grab all this. And then you can see I'm over directing it. Got my guideline there, lifting this point up. So what, what is a really important part of this is lifting this up to here, not dragging it down this way, otherwise you're gonna end up cutting a lot of length off. Now we can bring the next part of our section in. There it is there. And lift this up too. Make sure you keep it spread evenly over the plane of the comb. See I'm turning my shoulders. And then I'm going to grab this last piece here. This way, babe. Thank you. Not too far. Yep. Perfect. One side done. Now I'll show you, you saw on the, uh, on the first side that I did, you got to see the inside of the section, sorry, the outside of the section. Now you're going to actually see the inside of the section. It's really important that you just understand that we're essentially cutting a concave shape using horizontal graduation to shape um, Bronte's haircut. So therefore you should have a V shape in the front around the face if we've um, done it correctly.
Head up for me, darling. Thank you. Perfect. We do indeed have a V shape there that I was looking for. The length's been cut, I've shaped around the front, but I'm not going to cut the layering in the back until it's dry. Um, because I want to be able to connect. You have to understand the technique that I did, sorry I'm just using smooth setter before I dry it. The technique that I used to um, shape the hair around the face actually does layer the back. Um, so I want to see how much impact that's had. Um, because I don't want to, we, want, we spoke about giving it shape and, and wanting to have it layered but I don't want it to be really thin on the ends. I still want to have it quite sort of voluptuous and bouncy on the ends. And if we overlay the hair, you just take too much weight out. So I've just put that smooth setter through, I'm going to flat brush it. Um, then I'm going to come back and we're going to cut um, the layering in the back if it needs. Good Bronte look. Just um, in your favor, babe. Just sit, sit up right square, bang in the middle of the chair. Perfect. I'm just going to check the balance now around the face. Then once we've done that, we'll check to see if we want to layer it in the back. But I tell you what, it's uh, it's really good, really really good. So the way that I cross check this is I actually take a, I take the part straight down the center, and then I comb all the hair just over shoulder like that, head to the side, and I basically cross check from, from the side like this, so head back up now, and maybe down slightly, let me just lock that chair in so you don't move, and then we're just looking down like this, see if there's any little pieces of hair that we need to clean out, it's just like um, little pieces of graduation that um, form because of uh, maybe tension or something like that. And then just towards the face there, I like to give it a little bit of a point cut. Take another inch, bring it into the same guideline. Again, making sure that you're projecting the hair to the same. And there's that little bit there, so just give that a little clean out. And then we bring the rest of the hair all the way to the front. If we have to, we can just nick those little pieces off like that. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm really, really loving the colour. If you go back to the beginning of this video and you have a look how Bronte's hair looked at the beginning versus now, um, it's an incredible transformation. I just feel like this is just so well suited to her. Um, skin tone and her eye colour. I think the length is far more flattering for her. She is so little. I think sometimes with quite petite ladies, um, we can allow the hair to sort of like just completely cover them like a cape. It's, it overtakes you a little bit. Yes, we want to have it long, but we need to bring it back and just um, we need to bring it back and just make sure that it ties in with your you know, your overall size, because um, even, 
you know, this was probably here before. I, I even think now it's, it's verging for, for Bronte. I think it's verging on almost being too long, but I mean, it does look really beautiful with the shape and it is worth mentioning that you need to um, have enough length in the head to be able to create this type of shape because I think it's all about the drama from going from short to long. I'm just rechecking this again because I think I missed a bit. Yeah, look at that. So now we're just going to put a little bit of texture through here. This is just where all the hair falls in that one point. Again, when we're texturizing, we want to make sure that we don't go on cutting to that cutting line. We just spent all that time creating it. All we want to do is um, have this hair just have a little bit of room to expand. There's layering in the back there from taking the hair from the back. So I think maybe we could do a little bit of layering there. Um, let me just grab my brush. I just want to brush that back actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think um, the only thing that I feel like we could do is um, maybe a little bit through there, but I'm just going to check these sides again first. So it's really important to make sure that they've got nice flow. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm really happy with that. I don't think we're going to lay the back. I think it's got enough. So now we're going to um, do some styling. Let's just spin this around, have a look at just how beautiful this colour is. You can see all that beautiful colour in there. I'll switch these off if it makes it better. It's beautiful. Yep. Close your eyes, yep. To do that is hit it with some height riser. High riser is an amazing product. We just need volume in the root. It's almost um, quite, well, I think it's actually really, really hot look just to have a, almost that airiness, almost that little bit of fluffiness about the hair. Um, just for done. me, it's eyes, cheekbones, lips, jaw, and that's why here in these parts here, we've, you can see in there, it's very important. And then here, we just let it be hair and have some fun. As long as we've got that in there around the face, and you can see that if I pull that away, pull that out, you'll see that that's actually, you know, what it's all about. It's about making sure that this is cool, and that's um, you can see it's perfectly contoured the face shape, and then we just have this um, softer and more natural. Good T-shirt. <laughs> I'm not wearing mine today, but uh, Bronte's got hers on. Um, thanks for tuning in guys. If uh, you think you might know someone who may like this video or benefit from watching it, please make sure you share. It's important as a hairdresser we share so that other people can grow. Bronte, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you look great. Bronte said I'm the first hairdresser to ever do her hair, so um, big shoes to fill maybe. <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't and uh, please go and follow me on Instagram. Um, do you want to shout out your Instagram? So I'll follow you too. Um, Bronte.r. Bronte .r. <laughs> 
go and follow Bronte on Instagram. Until next time, guys, from Canberra Straits. Bye. Take care. <laughs> you look really good. Thank you. I love it.